night. This is the cutting edge on RFM. I tell you, <laughs> she had me to take a picture to show you which power there, you know. We have a we ship of location. Yes, it's a greetings, give thanks. It's wonderful to be here again. As you know, this is the cutting edge. 20 odd years, nearly 30 years we are running it, you know. And Shane is always with me. Well, we will continue the journey. You know, continue the journey because this month we're going to celebrate Marcus Garvey's birthday. So, we're going to feature Marcus Garvey tonight, plus other things, but we want to play one of the things that we usually play this time of the year. Um, we're going to make she and do him thing and we're going to come forward. Yes, we want a subject in school and Marcus. Of course, we want a subject in school and Marcus. But it's like how the whole heap of argument are going on about locks in a school and black hair and them something there. Like. We want to recant or revisit Marcus Gavi and Marcus Gavi birthplace where we hear, we keep hearing how oh, they're going to do this and do that and the people, they're going to find some place, they're going to find place where the people, them go. All these things. And it's years now, it's going on, years, years. And they're going to treat you like so we are some merry-go-round, carousel. Why is it that it is so difficult to really deal with the idea of Marcus Mosiah Garvey. We are talking about even school, and we still not find it in the school yet, that's how it's supposed to be. We don't understand where we are going. Why we have to keep fighting for the same thing over and over and over? And it's black people, we are talked about it, and they know the significance of this thing. So as it comes around to Marcus Garvey Earth Day again, but we keep repeating the same thing again. What is it that there is a refusal to accept? Because they make him a token hero. He is the first national hero of Jamaica, Marcus Mosiah Garvey. He is the most popular black man in the Western world. People want to say it's Bob Marley still, but we know that is if it wasn't for Marcus Garvey, the philosophy and opinions of Bob Marley that was embedded in Rastafari would never be so potent out there that Mark that Bob Marley could have been one of the most popular black men in the Western world as well. But I said Marcus Garvey is relevant today as it was in the twenties. And the lip service that them pre them them keep giving to Marcus Garvey is, is unbearable man. Like the locks and the black ear in a school, we have to keep going on and on and on and on about the same thing. Government come, government go, government come, government go. And we still can't figure out what is the reluctance about not recognizing Marcus Garvey. When I say recognize him, I don't mean put up bus or him, put up statue or him. Him leave a legacy here. Him second wife, Amy Jakes Garvey, compile a book and them call it Africa for Africans or the philosophy and opinions of Marcus Garvey. And it keep coming, coming, coming. And it is not seen as something legitimate Marcus Garvey is one of the most, what I'm calling it, is, is recognized as one of the greatest philosophers. I mean, I talk about black philosophers. He is recognized as one of the great philosophers of time, of the, the, the 21st, 20th century. How the hell we can produce such a great person and don't recognize that in philosophy and opinion is what bind him as a philosopher to the world, to the oppressed, to African people. 
And we can recognize that he must be taught in the schools. How much time we are going to fight for that? Marcus Gavi, the man from St. Anne, gave world leaders things to hold on in their them life as leaders. Marcus Gavi, coming from Jamaica, not recognizing Jamaica, have left Jamaica and said, nah, come back here. You know, Marcus Gavi said, Jamaica is a ridiculous place. Marcus Gavi said that. He said, Jamaica is a ridiculous place. And I'm going to England and dead. I will for people, if, if some elderly so people, I'm going to tell you, say, Marcus Gavi is not dead and all them something there. But it is it, it, it really hard wrenching for you no know, say after so much years, man. We have to have fight. We, Marcus Gavi, the ones them who recognize Marcus Gavi. If you ask a youth now on the road about Marcus Gavi, he won't know say he's a national hero. He don't know what to tell you about Marcus Gavi. How can you have your child and have national heroes? And you can't them can't tell you nothing about the heroes. What is the purpose of a hero? A hero is a one who excel above the normal. Him excel. Marcus Gavi excel more than excel. People call him all Moses, the black Moses. People call him all that other thing. In the bubble house, he's recognized as part of the Trinity. That should show oh, 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 how on a pedestal Marcus Gavi is placed. Marcus Gavi amongst black people is seen as an African-American hero, not a Jamaican hero. And most American youth, most American don't even know that Marcus Gavi come from Jamaica. Them feel them was American because them, the most time works them in, in America, in a place named Harlem. And we outsiders, so all we know about Marcus Gavi is that Marcus Gavi was born in St. Anne. That's all we know about Marcus Gavi. It's a shame. Them say Rasta is the memory of the Jamaican people. Certain things where Jamaican people won't forget, we remind them about it. Barry Chevans, the dean of the faculty of social science, the late great Barry Chevans, did say that. Him say Rastafari is the memory of the Jamaican people. And when we really check the things them that Jamaican people want to forget and we are remind them continuously about it and sometimes them look by we as like Jonjo <laughs> yeah, Jonjo go to people here I joke with this but I get a call a while ago where astonished me because in the 20 other years I have had this program I never hear this man call me yet and do you want to talk to me about the same year thing that's unbelievable so I hope him call me back, you know. I just be going to call, be going to tell him to call him. Because <laughs> he never even call me yet. I feel so good when I hear a voice like that for my program, yeah. Yes, but, yes, Marcus Gavi, Marcus Gavi. Hello? Yes, Muta. Tommy Kwan. <laughs> yes, no, man. No, no Tommy. I, yes, I, just, I just watched on stage, and I was just saying, um... Oh, you know what, on stage? Yes, 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 yes. And I, I, I just thought that it was, it was brilliant, the fact that um, the revelation, you know? Yes, And yes, yes, all yes. That, that came out on that interview a while ago. So you know, a while ago, because, you, you, you know? You about um, St. Andrew, Te- Andrew Girls School and, and, and um, Walmart's. Yes. With, with Miss yes. Pinto, I know they never were Afro in the school. Yes, remember they didn't want Afro, and um, and one at a time it was even. I, I think the students sit back to say, I think it was to Miss Pinto, that the, the the kink you need to get out is not the kink in our ears, the kink in your mind. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. Because you know sometimes you know muta. People look at us and so because we don't come about and we complain and we, we do all this and we do all that. But you, you're right, you know, of the majority of the people really dislike dreadlocks. dreadlocks. Of course. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah man. Don't yeah, I mean, yes. yeah, listen. I remember a police superintendent tell me years ago, he said, Tommy, I like you, you know, but I tell you the truth. If I see my son, if I get up one man, I see my son, dreadlocks, I just kill him. <laughs> yeah. And I remember too, going going to the police station, yes. and them whole bridging from one sea, as you remember there. Yes, yes, them yes. That place. And when I go to them, they said, Tommy, dreadlocks can't be a dreadlocks, you know. <laughs> you could have more security behind you than John Reed Boat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is that is the stigma. And I was even remembering like the guy from here, Jamaica, I think his name was Michael. Michael, and yes. As, as a pilot and him had to For you, Jamaica. They wouldn't they had to him had to leave the job and then go fly a small plane between yes. um we call Tinsipen and Mobile because them say that the dreadlock should affect his hearing. That's yeah, all like Jojo. If put the earphone over him head, it would affect his hearing. And That's all like Jojo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. The Tabby, Tabby. Yes. Oh, oh them allow you in a church with your Jojo. Well, the thing is, you know. I love that you have a church with your Jojo, you know. <laughs> the thing is, the interesting thing, you know about this whole thing and Jesus, you know, is that the culture of the Nazarene, yes. is, is the culture of the Nazarene in accepting that he might separate himself, you know, put himself apart. Yes. And that is from, that is apart from evil and yes, evil yes. doing things. Is that he became a dreadlock, you know. Yeah, Nazarene, no. Yes. So if naturally, in, in the whole sense, uh, uh, of the word if, yeah. if they tell me say Jesus come from England I could accept him looking one way but you never see about him him a Nazarene you never see about I, 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 I can only see him looking one that other way and even yeah. Billy Graham's son yeah. came here and said no apologies Jesus yeah. had to be a black man <laughs> yes yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. at least he never said black man he said he had to be a man of color yeah. but yeah <laughs> Boy, it's terrible though. Yeah. So they'll show it tonight again. They'll show huh? it tonight again. They'll show the unsealed tonight again. Yes, yes. Oh, oh it was yeah. the first time I'm seeing it because um when, and and um I, 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 <laughs> I like the parting words, you know. Which parting words? <laughs> I know Winfred won't forget that one to know that in the me to mask up. <laughs> 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 yeah, because when we look, when we look at the mask, you know, and especially how you wore it there on that show, it's yeah. kind of a reminder us of our people going across the deserts of Africa, you know. Of course, and that's the so original weird, way. That's so weird, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. That's why yeah, we man. come to them sandstorm and all of them things. Yeah. But you know, say last week, ironically, you know, last week, me that talk yeah. about oh. Me and Antoinette Arden were farm a, 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 a posse and demonstrate against Miss uh, Miss Pinto, don't have woman because she said she don't want to offer in high school. I just wow. ask him that about it. I know you you come mention it again. I, I, and, okay, and, and I never even knew about that. Yeah, yeah man, last week me mentioned at Saint Andrew. You just mentioned the Saint Andrew one. Me never even mentioned the Saint Andrew one. Yes, yes. Big yeah, argument about Africa. Yeah, man, a terrible thing. Yeah. Anyway, give thanks to you, yeah, man. Yeah, man, blessings, blessings. Yeah, man, yeah. give thanks. We always remember him, but people tend to feel, say, why the man they dead long time, you know, that nothing to do with me. Marcus Gave founded the first political party in Jamaica. And because him tell the judge, them in the court, say, them wicked and them do all sort of things. Them lock him up in a Spanish town prison. But you know what I say now? Because that's a serious thing. Marcus gave a philosophy and opinions in at this time here. To me, it's more relevant than the Bible. I know what people never want to hear me say that, but we have, we have said it non-apologetically that Marcus gave a philosophy and opinions is more relevant today. African people than the Bible. 
yet still we shun it because some people I remember that I, I, well earlier in the year about January I do up at the tax office and I bridge in one of the security them run come to me and I say Muta why I mean like what you had doing them things about Muayo Muayo recommend a book to me so I say all right you wish book me go remain to you me go find a book me in the philosophy and opinions of Marcus Gavi hear him Marcus Gavi no, I want a book with motivational. <laughs> we say motivational, then what you think Marcus Gave philosophy and opinion is? He say yeah, but that I deal with some black thing and thing. That, you know, I want something like, you know, you know which book they want. As some white people, motivational book him at all, you know. Some white people, motivational book him at all, you know, them book where you sit on bookshelf, how to be a better person, how to this and that and that. So, me as a brethren, you see the philosophy and opinions of Marcus Gavi, it covers all aspects of human life. It's not just a book where you want things, say, yeah, it'll tell you about black and white and black and white. It's a man who dig deep. And you know, so we're going we're to read some philosophy and opinions of Marcus Gavi tonight, yeah. For those of you who never hear the philosophy and opinion. I, you see, it hurt me that I have to keep doing these things, you know. I have to keep doing the same thing, the same way, continuously, continuously, because it's like we are talking to a brick wall. The philosophy and opinions of Marcus Gabby should be taught in schools because it is a motivational book. It is a book that deals with life. And you have other books of philosophy and opinion. You have other books. You have the philosophy and opinions of Marcus Gabby, volume two. You have Life and Lessons. Very important book, Life and Lessons. But these books is from my shelf, from some little bridging shelf, you talk about black and all them, something there. And them just regulated to just, yes, you know, Marcus Garvey was a black man who would stand for black people, rights and everything there. Marcus Garvey was more than that. That is why them say, he is one of the greatest philosophers, and it's not black people that say that. You know, when you hear them talk about Marx and Lenin and all them things, they have philosophers and all these people. Marcus Gabby stand above a whole heap of them people there. A whole heap of them European, what they would have called philosophers. Carl Jung and, you know, all of these great German philosophers that you see here about. Marcus Gabby, they right up there with them. Lenin, all them people there. So, it's just amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing that when you go to Marcus Gabby, where Marcus Gabby is supposed to be born, did live. And now we get to find out, say, maybe he never leave the barn, this so a card in tow, where hear me, I should say, in a team for you here tonight, where we keep playing. I will keep playing it over and over and over. You may I should talk ta- about which part you used to run up and down as a child. And may I say, really and truly, how we see how certain other people always look at certain, like our Buster Manti, where send police to go kill black people, Rastafari, right, regional situation in a coral garden. And then when we look at which part Marcus Gavi used to there, where woolly heap people from all over the world want to pay what them call pilgrim, pilgrimage to Marcus Gave place. And when we see the place where I'm there, we ask about wait, how oh, them make it stay so? How oh, them make it stay so? Years in, me argue with, 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 with me argue with Bob Z. We have programs. I think about three Marcus Gave tribute on the IRA. We have our on the phone. We have our, I think she did inside the, 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 the my um in a, in a, the, the 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 car park a uh, 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 RFM. We have the woman who did it now, are still did it, are moved now. We don't know what happened, but we know you're not more about it, not more about it. And now here comes Marcus Gavi Earth Day again. Where RFM was still, well, you know this year now they're gonna have virtual virtual celebration. Yeah, should I tell you about that? I refer him going to have a virtual 
celebration of Marcus Garvey Earth Play this Sunday. This Sunday, I never even know said recess already. This Sunday. We'll tell you more about that as time goes on. Maybe tomorrow we'll tell you more about that. But we're going to read the philosophy and opinions of Marcus Garvey and maybe read others too. Yeah, and maybe read other books too. But it's just amazing. No one remember. Well, not no one, but it still goes that no one remember old Marcus Garvey. We still have to say it that way there. And I refer So, as we say, we want to present to you the philosophy and opinions of Marcus Garvey. And it, it was called Africa for Africans, compiled by E.M. Jakes Garvey. For those of you who don't know, E.M. Jakes Garvey is Marcus Garvey's second wife. His first wife was called E.M. Ashwood Garvey. And if you know Jakes Road, around them area, the Mountain View there, all of them area that it belonged to our family. Yes. Hear me, Jakes. Okay. So, we want to read some, some things from this. Where the virgin say, Marcus, you have no, some, more, some more motivational man. <laughs> like, <laughs> we are telling you, say, no, we're in a bad state, you know. We're in a bad state. When I hear about Marcus, you have to tell him, say, him say, he want a motivational book. And you tell him, philosophy and opinion. He said, no, man, that's not philosophy, that's not motivational, man. That's some black thing. Black thing can't be motivational. <laughs> black thing can't be motivational. Anyway, Marcus Gavis say, listen to what Marcus Gavis say. Education is the medium by which a people are prepared for the creation of their own particular civilization and the advancement and glory of their own race. Education is the medium by which a people are prepared for the creation of their own particular civilization and the advancement and glory of their own race. The evolutionary skill that weighs nations and races balances like for all the peeps, peoples. Hence we feel sure that someday the balance will register a change for African people. How dare anyone tell us that Africa cannot be redeemed when we have 400 million men and women with warm blood, all right, coursing through their veins. The power that holds Africa is not divine. The power that holds Africa is human, and it is recognized that whatever man has done, man can do. And that me I say that are one of my greatest philosophy will carry me wherever man can do man can do whatever man has done man can do so you see when me see all them something here yeah? i go on covid and thing there man can stop this you see all certain things over here say man couldn't do for a long time man can do it but guess what him can't go further than where him there in him consciousness and him thinking him have to wait wait for that opening you know, it's like you travel to a certain hole and it's it, it to open. The more you go in the hole, the more it to open. The more it to open. But you don't know what is ahead of it. Well, is that what I say? You understand, say, there's more to happen, more to go to. But because which part you're there, you have to have that nerve. And Marcus Gavi assure you, say, the power that holds Africa is not divine. The power that holds Africa is human. It's human. The things that put wrong is man put things wrong and is man have to put it right. It's just that, you know, you hear the matter about saying, man, the, the earth will get destroyed. It's not the earth will get destroyed. It's human beings that destroy himself to make life miserable upon earth for him survive 
But the earth will always be here because the earth was here before man. Man is the last thing. And this is what I say. Man is the last thing to come on this planet here. Man, the last living or inanimate object to come on this planet here. So, Marcus Gavi say, the power that holds Africa is not divine. The power that holds Africa is human. And it's recognized that whatever man has done, man can do. Be as proud of your race today as our fathers were in the days of, of your. We have a beautiful history and we shall create an ad, another in the future that will astonish the world. Be as proud of your race today as our fathers were in the days of your. We have a beautiful history and we shall create another in the future that will astonish the world. A happy but miserable state in which man finds himself from time to time. Sometimes he believes he is happy he, by loving. Then suddenly he finds how miserable he is. It is all joy. It sweetens. All right, turn pierce quick. It is all joy. It sweetens life. But it does not last. It comes and goes. But when it is a... Uh, Act, when it is active, there is no greater virtue because it makes one supremely happy. We cannot hold our love, but there is one love that never changes or is mistaken, and that's the love of God. The longer we hold our love, the nearer we approach life and to our Creator. Marcus Garvey. The whole world is run and bluff. <laughs> the whole world is run and bluff. No race, no nation, no man has any divine right to take advantage of others. Why allow the other fellow to bluff you? We can read that again. The whole world is run and bluff. No race, no nation, no man has any divine right to take advantage of others. Why allow the other man to bluff you? This is the words of Marcus Messiah Gavi. And we have to live by certain words. And we talk about philosophy. And we know that Marcus Gavi philosophy is as great and as meaningful as any other philosopher. The thing with it is that Marcus Garvey is specifically pointing to the African race. He's trying to wake you up out of your slumber and your sleep. So in direct, all, all of him speaking, all of him talking and in philosophy is geared towards the advancement of upliftment of African people and some people can't take that some people can't take that the only protection against injustice in man is power physical financial and scientific the only protection against injustice in man is power, physical, financial, and scientific. Since I'm not telling about it, we have to take the responsibility to do it. Marcus Garvey said, I am not one of those Christians who believe that the Bible can solve all the problems of humanity. The Bible is good in its place. But we are men. We are the creatures of God. 
We have sinned against him. Therefore, it takes more than the Bible to keep us in our place. Man is becoming so vile that today we cannot afford to convert him with moral, ethical, physical truths alone. But with that which is more effective, implements of destruction. Can we read that again? Because Marcus Garvey also says, leadership means everything. Pee and blood and debt. Leadership means everything. How much people can take that? That when you take unto yourself to become a leader, you must recognize that the road is rocky, rocky. It includes pain, blood, and death. I am not one of those Christians who believe that the Bible can solve all the problems of humanity. The Bible is good in its place, but we are men. We are the creatures of God. We have sinned against him. Therefore, it takes more than the Bible to keep us in our places. The world ought to know that it could not keep 400 million black people down forever. Marcus Mosiah Garvey speaking. As we said, this book was compiled by Amy Ashwood Garvey. The philosophy and opinions of Marcus Garvey. And I know that if you want to copy it, Miguel Mabridgin, Miguel Lan, Laya Bridgin, he re it, him republish it. Yeah, he republish it. So, as you can see, a Rasta man open a publishing house where he's republishing some of these books where, you, where, where even though we didn't have it in a them time there, but no, you can't say so you can't get it again. Because the Virgin a republished book. How oh, come them not have it in a school? I remember the first time I go to Senegal, the president was like six foot something. And the only book that I did work with was the philosophy and opinions of Marcus Garvey. And I presented to him and was talking about the visa. So how oh, come them have we as Africans a come there without visa? And him say, you know, you're right. We're going to stop this thing. Unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, the man passed away before him could have really make it in law. And I find a way for this thing happen that we went to Gambia and we make this big speech, say, oh, come to Africa and we have to have visa for come at this place. And yeah, yeah, the same president decide say I'm going to give us some of our citizenship and him sign the paper citizen sign and seal we say so when we come back we'll get the passport we must send the passport them to we still have the paper sign and seal I asked I can be on the other day when I saw which family the Atlanta or something say yeah them things they're still valid you know from the president to sign it even though I'm not a president again but you can use it. Well, them deposed Jamin, yeah, yeah, and he's now exiled in Guinea. Yes, he's now exiled in Guinea. But why I say that is because, yeah, yeah, he's a, him know about Marcus Gavi and him really study Marcus Gavi just like Kwame and Kuma. Kwame and Kuma. Black star, where you see in a um, flag, the red, gold, green, and black, the black star. Is Marcus Garvey black star liner? Marcus Garvey influenced him to the point where he write, he write and say, is the most, he, the most, per, pe, the person that have more, more effect on him in a um, political life was Kwame Nkrumah. Kwame Nkrumah influenced him. We talk about Jomo Kenyatta. The Burning Spear. Well, for people don't even know that the Burning Spear, the singer, got him name from the Burning Spear in Kenya, Jomo Kenyatta, was influenced by Marcus Garvey. That one of, one of the politicians named Dudley Thompson was him liar during the Mama uprising. Then we have Nelson Mandela. 
celebrated Nelson Mandela who read Marcus Garvey religiously in prison. I don't know what I'm when him come out of prison, but I know say he was a lover of Marcus Garvey. Marcus Garvey had 20 million people a follow him. 20 million black people a follow Marcus Garvey. So can you imagine that this man here come from Jamaica and we still now recognize how important and significant him in to 20 million black people all over the world used to follow him. The man have a shipping line. We don't teach the children them that in school. Because this is what you call motivational. For the time when he did a living her, for have them things around him. It's really a feat in itself. It comes like magic. It comes like magic. This is we'll talk a while ago, so we'll take some call. We are take the call them. So if anybody have things we say, just say it. Cause you know we couldn't we couldn't take them a couple of weeks now. Because there was something wrong with something was wrong with the, the, the line them. But I think we're up and ready now. As you can hear, we just take a call and somebody just call when I if I take call. We didn't read something a while ago, we're gonna read it again. I know take the people them will hear what we did I say. The policy of the colored intellectual. Marcus Garvey talked about the policy of the colored intellectual. You know who's a colored intellectual? Okay. The present day Negro are colored intellectual. Is no less a liar and a cunning thief than his illustrious teacher. His accidental training only fits him to be a rogue and a vagabond and a seeker after the easiest and best by following the line of least resistance. He is lazy, dull, and uncreative. His purpose is to deceive the less fortunate of his race, and by his wiles ride easily into position and wealth at their expense, and thereafter agitate for and seek social equality with the creative and industrious whites to every rule however there is an exception and in this case it must be applied the man who bring Marcus Garvey to pop music and make him known beautiful man if you do that that's how powerful reggae is because if it wasn't Burns Pia Wolpa man who know about Marcus Garvey Marcus Garvey say Nationhood is the only means, the only means by which modern civilization can completely protect itself. Independence of nationality, independence of government is the means of protecting not only the individual but the group. Nationhood is the highest ideal of all peoples nation would matter about Marcus Garvey on the topic of the image of God the image of God listen to this if the white man maybe that's really you can't say why a system that is so embedded in the British idea of things would not want to really give heed to the philosophy and opinions of Marcus Garvey even though other people do it anyway the image of God Marcus Garvey say if the white man has the idea of a white God let him worship his God as he desires if the yellow man's God is of his race, let him worship his God as he sees fit. We are Africans. We Africans have found a new ideal. Why is our God has no color, yet it is human to see everything through one's own spectacle? I can read this again. Whilst our God has no color, yet it is human to see everything through one's own spectacle. 
and sins to white man. All right, come on, come again, come again, I'll mix it. And since the white people have seen our come again, okay. Whites our God has no color, yet it is human to see everything through one's own spectacle. And since the white, white people have seen their God through white spectacles, we have only now started out, late though it may be, to see our God through our own spectacle the god of isaac and the god of jacob let him exist for the race that believe in the god of isaac and the god of jacob i can read that again the god of isaac and the god of jacob let him exist for the race that believe in the god of isaac and the god of jacob we africans Believe in the God of Ethiopia, the everlasting God, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy One, the one God of all ages. So I can read that again. The God of Isaac and the God of Jacob, let him exist for the race that believe in the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob. We Africans believe in the God of Ethiopia. They have a lot. Hey, oh, I remember saying, it's not a Rasta man attack. They say, no, it's Marcus Giavi. It's not a Rasta man attack. It's a Marcus Giavi. It's, it's Marcus Giavi himself attack about the image of God and how other people view Philem God through Philem own eyes. In other words, you make God in your own image. It's not God that make you in my own image, you know. It's you that make God in I'm your own image. So, the Chinese man, nothing not wrong if him see God through female eyes of the Chinese. The white man, nothing not wrong if him see female God through female eye as a white person. Black people is the only set of people see God through somebody else's eye. When you look at Buddha, Buddha, according to the stories, come from India. And I don't know how much people know that, but you can look at a Buddha from India, different from a Buddha from China or Japan. Because the two images them look like the people them were, shout out the name. So even though Gautama Buddha is said to have come from India. When you see a statue of Gautama Buddha, it's a slim man with a little with him locked wrap up in his head on the top of it. When you look on the Chinese Buddha, it's a fat Buddha with him belly puffed over upon his knee and his head shine. That is making God in your own image. I wonder if people don't even realize that. That the fat, the fat Buddha is a Chinese Buddha and the slim Buddha is an India Buddha. When you look on the white Jesus, the man that make Jesus in his own image, but guess what? Because him have the power to decide your outcome. And because you live amongst him, and him is the power over you, him is your master. The white God is where him worship. And him as you know I worship this white God. And now you will die for this white God too. Because if somebody come tell you say, God is a black man and you put a picture of African in your house and say a Jesus that. You're liable for have to run out of your house if he's a youth. Especially if you have a <laughs> Especially if you have a lot, you have a call that talk about Jesus a while ago. And the last thing, you think, say, your grandmother, after she had lived over three years, you could have got to take a picture and paint it with that lax and carry going to your house. Maybe no, because grandmothers, it's not like grandmothers then. 
you know, you have grandmothers with 50 and 60 and 70 and year old. If, if a youth now get conscious and carry that, going to her house, she would have said, oh, it's a different version of Jesus, this door. But you see, grandmothers, when my grandmother era and my mother grandmother era, you think you could ever carry a picture in a house with a black man, with a staff in a man and a little lamb round him and say, this is Jesus. You better come out of the house with that. That's a devil thing. As a matter of fact, you see this picture with um, Beyonce. Them, Beyonce have a new thing that go around the place, album. I think it's an album where she, 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 she trying to look like an image of a ancient Egyptian goddess. And she just surprised by the ancient Egyptian goddess. Because I'm sure the Egyptian goddess which I try to look like. Black people in America, so she out devil worship, child worship devil. You see, me when we did come out with the ank. I think Jay Z, Jay Z, they start to come out with the not, not the ank, the eye of Horus. Yes, and the ank too. And what's your name? The um, they come out with the with the with the ank and make the ank get popular. But when them come out with this thing. With the, 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 the pyramid and the eye, them say as some devil thing. Them people are come up with and now Beyonce on the fire now. Beyonce on the fire because she come up now with this goddess, black goddess. And them must say a devil thing. Serious devil thing. Yes, you really look on the Notre Dame in a Europe. The one we born on the other day. If you see the image them were in front, me go to go see all them image there. With some hands I push out and so and them look like some creatures out of nowhere. And a church sign them you know, even in New York, you know. The big church with don't have a there, you know. You see some horrible looking animal creatures with that two head and all them something there, and something that come out of them belly and all them something. There. And a church sign it the part of people don't look at it. So Marcus Gabby say, Look here, if a guy will do that, you know, I feel think that. You know, see, don't feel the way I feel think that, but you know. You say our thing, our thing must have our image. Yes, him say we must worship God through Ethiopia. That is the God in which we believe, but we shall worship Him through the spectacles of Ethiopia. Marcus Yave said that. Not Rasta said that. Marcus Yave in the twenties I said that. We see the image of God through the spectacles. Looking through our own glasses, we say God through Ethiopia. So, we as Rastafari decide, say, watch her. Our image, our God must look like we, the image of God. Because it's man, if there was no man, there wouldn't be any concept of God. All images of God come from the mind of man. There was no image out there that is specifically put there by a creator that say this is how I look I have one nose maybe I do have one nose you understand maybe I do have no mouth maybe it's ten foot half maybe I don't even exist but is your mind that is creating these images is your mind creating the images when you hear about Zeus and Thor and the Nordic gods and all these people, in those times when Zeus was the Greek god of gods, these people used to worship Zeus. You think you could have tell them, say, no, Zeus never exists. You're mad. Them put stake through your head and cut off your neck 500 times and, and roll it down the mountain. But now, who, who believe in a Zeus again? Nobody not believe in another Zeus again. Zeus was the god of all gods. Zeus used to have all kinds of virgins around him. You have Hercules. You have Neptune, Apollo. All of these gods was gods where people worship all of them life. Grandmothers come, mothers come and worship these gods. But no, these things is not of our help. We don't believe those things again. You know, see it? There was a time when people used to 
have altars, where them have virgins, even in, a, in a South America, Central America. They have people who used to sacrifice virgins to the gods. They that they go upon one of them in a, um, in a bellies, amongst the Mayan, the Mayan temple them. Where them have these Mayan temples, where them built a stone. No cement, no make them in a stone. Take all 30, 40 years to build one of them. And them used to give praises to them God. And them get virgins. And them say, it's only virgin, the gods them want. It's only virgin. God love virgins, you know. That's why all Mary is a virgin, you know. Because it's not only in that tradition you have virgins, you know. In the most traditions where God exists, the virgin are the one, the firstborn is always desirable to the Lord. These people used to throw the virgin them half of the, 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 the pyramid them to the gods. And them, the, these girls used to grow up believing, say, this is what them want to happen to them when them grow at a certain age. Can you imagine that? Children are grow up and I say, oh, it's going to be so beautiful. When I reach the age of 20, I will be into the hands of the gods. And she look forward to be thrown up these pyramids. But nobody believed those things again. Nobody believed those things again. Because this is the mind of man. It's the mind of men doing these things. You know? It's nothing else but the mind of men. See? Man is creating these things as him go along in him culture. Because cultures bring religion, you know. It's not religion bring culture, you know. It's culture bring religion. Because out of culture, man starts to think all sort of things and develop all sort of things. Because look on, look on Abraham. Abraham must go and go take him own son and, and sacrifice him son to the Lord. You know, because he hear a voice that say, if you fool say you love me, do this thing here. Yeah. This is an almighty God who wants you to prove that you love him, you know. And him know all. Him supposed to know if you love him or not, you know. Him is supposed to want you to prove that. Him is supposed to say, well, this, as me, make this man, you know. God, the vessel can't question the maker, you know. So, I know him don't love me. So, I'm going to prove to himself that the man loves him by making the man take him only son or sacrifice him son. And then when the man goes to kill him, say, all right, don't do it. I bluff me, I bluff. No me know say so you love me. Because these people were sacrificing people. It's not a, it's not a new thing developed, so you know. These Israelites were sacrificing them young children to the gods. Just like the Mayan people them. Just like our holy people. And then him said, No, don't do it. And now we have other gods now in other places. But the powerful, the almighty, the people them who conquer and dominate, the freedom God run the place. A freedom God run the place. Anybody who is in power, it's freedom God run the place. You can know the powerful by the concept of God that exists amongst the people them who is not powerful. If a man colonize you, you quite the language and the religion. Is the thing when God take hold of you. And the language and the religion is what is placed in front of you as the reality, as a logical explanation about who you are and who you should worship. So when you hear Marcus Gavi say, Yes, if him want to worship God through Abraham, Isaac, make him go and go do it. I don't have no problem with that. But don't come tell Isaac must do it too. Because theme God can't serve me. Because theme God put me in the position where me, you know. So if him a worship God, and him in that powerful position, and me a worship theme God, and me in a the slave position, something wrong, something rotted wrong with that. Theme God make him healthy, wealthy, and wise. And theme God make me in poverty and disgrace and shame and as I look for better and all the things. When me dead, come here, look on him you know, and he must say, he might get the things them when he's alive. But me dead in my head, I say, all right, when me die, you know, we're going to the street pave with gold and we're going to up there and the pearly gates of this and that. And nothing happened for me. 
So why me thinks a film guy that will save me from what he might do to me and my four parents and my foreign parents before them? No. We have to wake up and look, you know, put on your glasses. Your glasses going to show you your idea, your concept, and you have to create it out of your culture. You know, see, culture is dynamic. Culture is something that reveals itself the more you live it. And that is how people come up with all sorts of things. Everything, every religious belief for yourself on the earth, is man come up with it. It's not no supernatural nothing. No supernatural nothing. No come up with nothing for earth. It's man. Whatever man can do, man do. A man has the authority and power to do things outside of thinking where him have now because it evolved into something else later down the line. You know, see it? So when I'm going to tell you about fame God and your God and you must worship God and you might tell you how to worship your fame God and everything. And you know, believe your fame God. You know, feel your fame God. You feel say, it's God for all everybody like all them that kill the, 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 the Roman, the Greek, the, the Greek, they would have killed the Roman them for not worship Zeus. And then the Romans, they would kill other people because they don't worship like the Romans, they used to kill the Christians them because they, <laughs> I tell you, you know, so the Christians was once known as pagans in Rome. The Christians was once seen as pagans you know, because they never used to worship the gods of Rome. And then now, because they is a conqueror, you know, you know. The third going on, the conqueror now start to usurp the religion that them call Christianity and take it for themselves. Twist it and turn it and shape it into a Roman idea. And it facilitate the power that them have over the people them who actually create that. So not that Christianity was created by white people because white people don't create nothing. No religious idea or perspective come from white people, you know. It's people where them would have call of color outside of Europe create this thing. And them usurp it and bring it to them and shape it and turn it and make it become for them own. So by the time them shape it and turn it, you know, it have no resemblance of where them get it from. So that's why Jesus now is white. Jesus is white because he's white. You know, see, because when you look on it, the Jews them never worship no Jesus. The Jews them never worship Jesus. And some guys come you now and twist around the thing you now and make you believe the boy right now. Yes, all right. We will call a man named Jesus. We will give him a passive thing. So I'm not gonna fight against Rome because that is what Jesus had to do. Jesus now fight. That's a turn on the cheek. But I say to you, turn the next cheek. You have said earth to say this and that, but here I have said no. Because they have pacified the people them. Because the people them did a fight against Rome. That's what they did, you know. Them have zealots a fight against Rome. And how for I pacify these people now is to create an image and an idea that will make them be so passive that them won't have no God to fight, just like what them do it in a, a slavery. It's just that them so vicious that them create torture and make pregnant women and make children sit down and watch the wickedness and cruelty where them perpetrate upon black people. That's when these children grow up and when the mothers have children. Them teach them children not to resist because them don't want what happened to them father happened to them. Them don't want what happened to them sister happened to them. So we grow up with this passive idea that we must just bow and yield to what them say to we and what them do to we and what them give we. And we contend with it. And we feel happy in the filth. And he says, it's, it's, it's nice, peace soup, we in a. So we know and we understand the power of image. And our image in our head and can't come out of our head. Continuously, it can't come out. It can't come out because we don't want it to come out. Because we don't know what we're going to replace it with. But if you just allow it to come out, something else will come there. All you have to do is just allow it to come out, you know.
God, this and Yahweh, Yahweh, Melody, this and all of that. And I turned them head to the east and I preach and I pray and he, he, Jacob and his 12 tribes. Have, and them not believe what them are say. That is just a cultural expression. It's joke business. And we take it serious more than them. And we say, oh, 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 you think it's going to help you? It's not help you. It never, it helped them. Because them know for use it, but we don't know for use it because we the power. Now Marcus gave talk about the power. It's power. The only thing man knows is power. And we must gain that power and recognize the truth in ourselves that these things not going to help me. We have to maintain and decide and create our own ideas and concepts. This is a in memory of the Honorable Marcus Garvey, the Jamaican hero who pointed the way to African independence in his clarion call for a new day and a new and greater destiny. This is the voice of Amy Ashwood Garvey. singing by a lady named Telma Hase from the UNI here, yes. A meeting of the Marcos Gav people, UNI here. Telma Hase from the UNI here, yes. A meeting of the Marcos Gav people, UNI here. slumbers, but his immortal spirit, like a mighty dynamo, vital, alive, ennobling, still inspires his people along the path to human dignity, racial pride, and national sovereignty. The ideals for which he fought, lived, and died. I listen to everything on IRFN. IRFM on Sunday, IRFM on Monday, mm-hmm. IRFM on Tuesday, mm-hmm. IRFM on Wednesday, mm-hmm. IRFM on Thursday, mm-hmm. I say on Friday is IRFM mm-hmm. on Saturday mm-hmm. is IRFM. Mm-hmm. And you have an next day? Dynamo, vital, alive, ennobling, still inspires his people along the path to human dignity racial pride and national sovereignty the ideals for which he fought lived and died hello muta muta go get me nila wa wa fike chuti o that's why go but me like me like say hello hello i mean how you know about it well i wasn't hearing you i was only hearing him and ash hear me hear me voice i don't know maybe that was the only voice i was to hear okay i don't know <laughs> so, yes, I, no, sir, I don't know if you remember me. Yaskin from Vineyard Town. I'd call mm-hmm. you about a poem that I had written about Patrice Lamumba. Okay. I used to listen to a program that Simon Kraskill used to have. Mm-hmm. And one week or two weeks, Stephen Golding from the UNIA stepped mm-hmm. in for him. I was saying from, I used to talk to Simon that we need to teach Marcus Garvey in school. In school. And I also, mm. when I got Stephen ears, told him the same thing. You hear it, mm. Yeah, ma'am, I hear you, man. Right. I told Stephen the same thing. And Stephen said to me that he actually teaches Marcus Garvey principles in life, whatever. 
for students at Heidel School. Mm. As a matter of fact, when they normally finish with the program, my mother go over there and yeah. teach them. Yeah. But I didn't get the opportunity to, to ask him how is it that this wasn't something that was for schools eventually yeah, probably permeating yeah. the entire system. Because I am thinking, Muta, that this should be something that yes, so you list out all the names of those persons internationally who have been who have been affected by Marcos deep down by Marcos Garvey and him teachings. Malcolm experienced them or Garvey. Mm, yeah. And you have a lady, a little American lady, I think she came out here to live and she died either this year or last year. Can't remember her name now. Yeah. Mama I was saying, how is it and why is it we're not teaching the young ones coming up? I could teach them just the basics in kindergarten to when they reach primary, grades four and five, you have them do like a kind of project. So the learning still throughout the school system. A project they could do a play, um, paper mache sculpture. Mm-hmm. Something, some kind of little project before them reach pep stage. And then once they go into the high schools, you continue the teachings. I remember when I was 23 and I read the same book there that you were talking about. I can't remember all that was in the book. Yeah, well, I, I remember, remember all I mean, I remember all like empowered, like. eye-opening. Mm-hmm. Like how them say now, say, a couple of years ago, they say everybody must stay woke. Now everybody eyes wide open. Yeah. So I can't understand how is it and why is it so hard. You said that Marcus Garvey said this place is ridiculous and it seems that it still is. Because yeah, all so. Marcus Garvey can come, he is in the land, so to speak. This is his land. And Americans love him and revere him more than we. Mm. I well, told like Simon, I that Simon, I told Stephen about a man, a boy, a guy. Dwight Fields, I think his name was. He was the second black man in 100 years to journey to either, I think it's Antarctica. Mm-hmm. He came from Jamaica. He grew up, he said, he grew up in, I don't, don't remember which, if it's West Milan or whatever. And mm-hmm. he went to England when he was about six. And him tell him story. And I think I remember Steve was saying that boy, I'm a physician, can't get this guy to come out here. I was saying somebody like that should have come out here, should have gone to even the U.S., and his story should be out and about. That's something as significant as this. Because right now we're happy about Kamali and proud of her. But I think that this is something also that can be... Why are you proud celebrated. of her? Why are you, why you, why you proud of her? Why are you proud of her? Eh? Why are you proud of Kamala? Why are what? Why, why are you proud of Kamala? I'm saying that I'm sure that this is something that most persons are proud of. Yeah, but my, uh, the fact that why, she became why are they, why are they proud of Kamala? VP running mate for Biden. I can't deny that I'm not proud of her. But okay. I know and realistic enough to know say, she's central left. She's not as progressive as the well, you know, so, well, you know, so, you know, so, commander where everybody thinks black he's a communist. But the fact early. is that she talks her mind. She's intelligent in terms of being a role model. She's the best we got. But no, what may oh, I say? Oh, you know. You, what no, you, say not, you know, say she called a lot of black people to go to prison in, a, in, a, in a California. As attorney general. That she part, have, she have I am not of making black really aware of. I know that eh? there are certain issues, it seems, that, as I said, she sent a left. So, you know, say, certain things, she's going to be stepping on a couple of toes. You understand me? But she did talk about her, how she was bust, and the effect of it. And she pointed a finger at Biden. You see? So mm. there's degrees of everything, you know. And we're not going to get the person who is going to be to the degree that we would like. 
but no, but we will not get a wild woman like this world. No, we are the world. And oh, yeah, as I sister, said, she's sister. the best. Maybe the person who's coming behind her will be sister. more awake. Well, but I am not. She is I, awake. Okay, I can ask you something. What? When you say we get the person, who get this person? I don't understand. When I say we get, get her, person, she is a person at the forefront. No. You no, but you say we get all this person. Who, 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 who get? Who, which part are we get this person? Eh? No, a while ago you say this is the best we can get. Who get her? Yes. We, we get her. What, what? When, when, when I said that in a moment, I mean in terms of being at the forefront now as a black woman yeah. who, given the context of where we are now, with uprisings taking place all over different states, never wonder. Well, I maybe that's why they put her there now to pacify people I like you. I don't even know that I mean, black people live there. You see, no, but so that's I'm the just saying that that's that why in the why context. Put, yeah, yeah. Maybe that's why but, Biden chose her because them realize that she can pacify the whole thing, you know, with black people and Indian well, he's people. he's a politician, what you expect. Eh? He's a, polit he's a politician, what you expect. No, the, the, the why we are so crazy over to We hear say she's a black woman, you know, and she come from Jamaica. It's India. Our mother is an Indian, you know. Nobody knows say no. We don't say our mother is an Indian. Yeah, but why, why we as Jamaican go crazy because a Jamaican woman gone in, in, beside Biden? Repeat what you just say. I'm saying, mm. why is we are Jamaican? Why are we getting so crazy? Because a woman who's a Jamaican, so well, she says she's a Jamaican, she says she's American, but a woman who's a Jamaican of blood in her, why are we getting so crazy? And proud when you that, say we're getting crazy, what do you mean by that? Proud, what do you, proud, proud, what, you, what do you define good. as crazy? What kind of crazy? No, feeling, good, feeling good, feeling good. Feeling good and great, and say, Yes, see, the Jamaican gun, she could have a president, vice president. Why are we getting so joyful and happy? There's nothing wrong with that. Um, yes, yeah, something wrong with it and because. The fact, on, and the fact is that it's not all of us are on the same level to see maybe more than what we're seeing right now. That's why I ask you the question why are we getting that happy? For instance, why are you getting happy about it? I am not overjoyed per se, you know. No, not overjoyed, but happy, happy. But just the fact that, yes, there is someone who is Jamaican was made to the top of the American system then. That means that the sky is... So the that is a great earth. thing for me to the American, the top American system. For so many years. For so many years, nobody would have believed that a black man could reach into the White House. And we, we, we climb over that hurdle. In quotation marks. So what is happening now to black people now? Now that Obama was a black was a president, what what is the position of black people situation in America now? It's much better. Well, I can I can't say I'm leaving it any better than that. Or informed well, no, that's because right, because so why are we get, get, probably leave it worse because to I scrum, was shocked to know in 2015 when I was there ill that even from 2015 it seemed all of these and from 2012 all of these incidents were happening with black men. Till it reach yeah. black woman now. Yeah, but black, and it black, 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 people, in, black in people are the whole and the whole, straw. In, out, out of the whole system. We are drowning and we are whole lamp and straw. Repeat? Black people is drowning and we are holding on and straw. And who is the straw? Anything that you feel look like we look good. We just we just adore it. Say, oh Ray, see the black people now God, it's also there for we're in a better situation, in a better position. I, I don't understand it. No, I don't understand that because part, that piece of talk. So repeat again. I'm saying, mm. this. you know when, you, you know the saying, we're a drowning man, we're lamp and straw. Yeah, man, I understand that. It means that anything we feel, I'm going to make him feel better, save him, we're going to hold on to it. When, mm. we, when black people hold on to Obama, Obama do more for the gay community that him do for black people. I don't say no, you know. Yeah, and but, but what is that? You're not going to say no, but and but then no. This woman come, and at who you to persecute, yeah, that, this woman come, who yeah. have a legacy of persecuting black people and sending black people to jail and prison 
And because mm. now we hear that she's a blood Jamaican blood in her, we start to feel like, wait, see that Jamaican yes, what, 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 I'm, I'm not really picking up for her, Mita. Eh? I'm just saying, what was the context under which she sent those black people to jail? Because Look it here. was the same one which, whereby... You know, what's the context? The same context black, like black when... Black were bawling to him about no, the crime the and whatever. Context, and as a result, the them go to the other like end of when, the spectrum. Look and here, eventually the same, end up saying how many black men to jail. The if same you, context that, like the judge does, who said, or the attorney woman who said, the, the, the child would have bring Jonjo and, and, and lives in the school. Oh, really? John John context. lies and me attack what Marcus Gavi and teaching of Marcus Gavi. No, but she will attack the woman, woman to this extent. We know so that Kamala is not the be all and end all, nor the extent. She will never be to some yeah. Democrats, to some persons, enough. And as you say, she has a, 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 a history that persons can use against her, both left and right. But the fact is that we, sometimes it does, it, it's like Independence Day or some kind of celebration. There's a straw. You have, your, a straw. You have some celebration at your house. You just put it's aside your, different, your family differences and come together on that day. So I no, think that that is, what, that is where we are now. We may need but, to go further. But that's not what we, we need. need. We don't need that. We get to worry about that already. We don't need that. We get we don't need that to get. We don't need that. One day you're coming together and feel good, and then the next day we're gone. Yeah, that and is the your opinion, and you're quite, and, and you're quite yeah, no, right. For opinion, it, but for some is. persons, that is where they are mentally. It's not everybody going to be mentally where you are, Muta. You're one man of Pasafa and Pastor. Pastor, no, and I'm not talking about who I am, you know. Who, 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 who tell you, say God white, and eventually, eventually, um, dear Pastor, cut him off, because he was about to call Pastor a pirate. He's at one end of the spectrum. Pastor don't reach there so yet. Do you, pastor, pastor oh, you know the pastor going to reach there? Eh? Oh, you know the pastor going to reach there? I don't know if he's going to reach there. Then why you say don't reach there never yet? Reach. No, but why you say don't reach there yet? Because he's saying to the... No, because you're anticipating him going to reach there. The he cannot tell people how to, 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 um, to, to worship. And that would be out of order. Yeah. It's obvious that the, the man we're calling is is, is, is is in a different mindset. He's saying to himself, like what you are saying, and you're, you're, you're postulating there with um with Marcus. The black man, the white man, have seen God way him showing in an image. The Chinese man, the same thing. The Indian man, mm -hmm. the same thing. Yeah. But the white man have used his position over the black man. Yeah, it's and now the black man is it's the black same man has used Bible white man position over black get, people. All that him get out of the world at the same time him subjugating we with five hundred lashes and number two in a room soap in our mouth. Yeah, no, we have to move though, we have to move, we have to move. Alright, so later we have to move. Give thanks so to the call, yeah? yeah and Muta, I want to talk to you about them yeah. the, them poems too. This oh <laughs> that is the call. You boy laugh. Are you are the one with the something wrong for. with the twelve tribes and the and no, the Lamumba? And that is the and call for. And the eight months before the poem that you call for. Is the poem that you call for? And up to now you not talk about the poem. Then. You no, I'm not the call for. I'm Marcus Gal. We don't want to talk about. Yeah, no, you got a Kamala. Where you got a Kamala? But then the, I just mentioned her. Not no wrong with that. Uh, the no, right the that, and you are the one where you have an issue, you know. I saw a chick the on your shoulder Kamala. with Kamala. It looks like you like her under the quiet, you know. Oh, me? Yes. Because you bring her up and you yeah. run with her. I don't know nothing about her more than she used to make black people go to prison. Yes. Like, like oh, where's the name? Where's the brother? Clinton. Clinton? But yes. I'm saying, I'm, yes. what I'm trying to anyway, say no, we have to move, we have is move, that have you have to look at the context. Because no, no you context, can't say that no context, black no that context. were running to him and no falling because of the killing in the 90s. No context. You understand me? America have the most prisoners in the world. I don't say no. I don't yes, say no. and I'm most of them is black people. All right, we're gone, we're gone, we're gone, we're gone. Yeah. Blessed man, we're gone. Cutting edge. Cutting edge. Big thanks, no? Yeah, man. Two things I want to talk about the pantry this morning, no? Eh. Yeah. I love to ask all of the people that said I'm going to vote in this election. If they did not say GLP party and PNP party, they have them farm 
Queen Elizabeth government from 1962 till now. 58 years reign of Queen Elizabeth government. I rule over it. Then did you know that when they go vote tomorrow, September 3rd, one knows them countries and know say the two party system and them farm Queen Elizabeth government. And that more you ask all of the voters then. We say they go vote. You know? All these people do, when we see them do them betray and I ancestors and I forefathers who fight for freedom from British rule and, and colonialism, you know? Colonialization. And continue to tell back at these people who don't mean us no good. You know, PMP and Labour who farm Queen Elizabeth government to wall we down and, and work we out to cheap Labour. You know? Them countries and know what they're doing. You know? Them betray the black nation. So they must know where they might go to vote, they might go vote. Because they must go work up Queen Elizabeth domain, you know? Threatening Queen Elizabeth, the British Empire. Because we say we get independent from the British, yet 1962 is the British monarch, Queen Elizabeth, a rule over we from them time. That means it's a bogus independent. And them say they have education and them can't see that. I know, you know? The Marcus Garvey said them walking and them brain in this judgment here. Yeah. You know? So make them open their eyes and realize and see what go on you now. You know? The only way for us, you know, is Marcus Garvey teaching a Rastafari, right, you know? The man said must fly the red, black, and green. And the red, gold, and green with the black five pine star and the lion symbol representing Ethiopia, crowned and stand up as an independent African nation. Out of that, of slavery, you know? So that I want them to know in this judgment, yeah. And let go this voting thing, because it no mean us no good as a people. At the Queen Elizabeth government, we have to rule. Every minute you hear them attack, but they want to get with the Governor General. They don't want to get with the Andrew Ones and Peter Phillips, who, who form Queen Elizabeth government. Because they say they want to follow Buster Man to kill them dead and sell out Marcus Garvey. I set a backward judgment, people. So I hope they hear, so when they vote for PMP and Labour, Queen Elizabeth government, them a farm, and them two parts of the farm, Queen Elizabeth government, from 1962. Blessed. Mr. Wana, out with me, you know. All of the churches then, in a Jamaica, in a 2020, even the TV station, the Macaria white men, Jamaica with an African population, a black year, blue eye God, them have in all of the churches, I show the people see them savior. You know? The pastors, them and the politicians, them is some set of deceivers and them need to go. You know? The whole of them fight against Africa. In this judgment here. You know, we don't want to sell. America, England, one, them pluck out your fingernail, them do we all man are evil, them shackle it. And we just a tail back at them to so the white men. And I run, keep on running away from ourselves. As they talk about Africa, the whole world gets in this judgment. They don't come from Africa. And they don't want to go to Africa. You know, but they want to kill back the white men. I set a backward people. Blessed my Lord. So, the man said the time will come when we must build our faith to return home to Africa, you know. And this is the time now. So, we could build our faith. To return home to Africa, a royal, sovereign, nation, well, kingdom, you know, a black empire, as our father's story, Marcus and Rastafari. That is the only way for us as a people, you know, standing as an independent African nation, most high, holy Emmanuel, I, last year, yeah, black empire, Rastafari. That is my few words to this night, yeah, Muta. Ladies and gentlemen, who was Marcus Garvey? Who was this man whom Bishop Ranson of the AME Church called the mightiest prophet of the age? Who was this man of whom the erudite James Weldon Johnson once said, he had the daring and energy of the Napoleonic personality that draws masses of followers. He stirred the imagination of the masses as no other leader ever had. In the course of time, this man, Garvey,
brushed aside the Goliaths of the first independent nation in the Caribbean. And he became Jamaica's first national hero. Who was Marcus Garvey? Marcus Messiah Garvey was a man, earthbent, for the eternal search of oneness with the universe. And he became Jamaica's he first national sunrise. hero. In the beautiful garden parish of St. Anne, Jamaica, West Indies, on the 17th day of August, 1887, near the falls of the Roaring River, where he grew with nature and drank much of our inspiration. He was of humble birth and was the eighth child of Sarah and Marcus Mosiah Garvey Sr. Garvey was born in an atmosphere of prophecy. When his father first saw him, so close a resemblance did he bear him. He was overcome with joy, and he lifted him up in his arms and cried out, Your name shall be Mosiah, and you shall someday be a Moses. There was nothing in the drab lamplit setting in which Garvey stood to speak in his native St. Jan that night in October 1914, which gave the slightest flicker of the shape of things to come. No one present, not even Garvey himself, believed that the stern-faced man standing so nervously before him in Jamaica would someday hold a star aloft and urge millions to gaze on it and follow him. Marcus Garvey set out on the lonely trail of smashing many of the preconceived ideas which made the black man inferior in his thinking, such as to believe that he was belonging to a vicious and predestined evil race, that God and the angels were white, that he, the black man, personified the devil, who was reputedly black, that he was the likeness of black magic and misfortune, the son of Ham, a hewer of wood and drawer of water, and that all the creation of the dominant white civilization calculated to foster the concept of white supremacy was ordained by God. Though he was an angry man, he smote his chest and demanded to know the author of the scurrilous wicked forgery, 4,000 years after Noah had gone to his grave in peace. When he spoke in Madison Square Garden, he served notice on all the nations squatting in Africa to get out before the wrath of 400 million black men, women and children hurled them into the sea. Arising from obscurity, Garvey's never-to-be-forgotten oratory took him to the very apex of fame. Millions unquestionably followed him. Such were the conditions of his people bowed down with inferiority complex for hundreds of years that Garvey visibly touched to tears and compassion in the deliverance of his message emphatically thundered. Up, ye mighty race, you can accomplish what you will. The black man of yesterday has disappeared from the stage of human activities forever. And in his place stands a new man, erect, conscious of his manhood and rights, and fully determined to preserve himself at all costs. Marcus Garvey, in his finest hour in Liberty Hall, New York, in the 1920s addressing the Universal Negro Improvement Association, and African Communities League said so many things applicable to the conditions of today. To read the world's history of races written by some writers gives the impression that the black man amounted to nothing in the creation. We are satisfied, however, to know that our race gave the first great civilization to the world. For centuries, our ancestral home was a seat of learning, and here black men who were fit for the gods were philosophers, scientists, artists, and men of vision and leadership. On the other hand, our traducers were groping in darkness and continental barbarism. Black men, you were once great, and you will be great again. Great men have come out of Egypt, out of Ethiopia, out of Africa, Sahara. Great men will come out of America, the West Indies and the islands of the seas. 
Our history is as great as that of any race or people. And nothing on this side of heaven or hell will make us deny it. Notwithstanding the false treaties, essays, speculation and philosophies. Their arrogance is but skin deep and an assumption that has no foundation in morals nor law. When we were embracing the sciences on the banks of the Nile, when our civilization had reached the noonday of progress, their ancestors were still running naked and sleeping in holes with bats, rats, and other animals. Of his messianic message to the groping millions of his race would surely bring him to Golgotha. His leadership would emancipate millions from the shackles of mental and moral servitude. It was the great gulf, it was the violent contrast between the upper and middle classes and the people of his race which made the first telling impact on the mind of the youthful Garvey. Illiteracy and grinding poverty were the two decisive factors which contributed to his impact. Like Socrates, Garvey geared himself for his cup of hemlock, like a Christ on his way to a blood-stained cross. Before his death, however, in 1940, he would have the satisfaction of knowing that a squalid century after the emancipation of 1838, the men and systems against whom he fought such a good fight had lost forever their footing on the ladder of imperial and economic power. Marcus Garvey left you a special message, my children. Let no voice but your own speak to you from the depths. Let no voice but your own rouse you in time of peace or war. Hear all, but attend only to that which concerns you. Your allegiance shall be to your God, then to your family, race and country. Remember always that the Jew, in his political and economic urge, is always first a Jew. The Caucasian is first a Caucasian under all circumstances, and you can do no better than to be first and always a black man. Be sure to teach your children science and religion, for it lies as our only hope to withstand the evil designs of modern materialism. Lift up your hearts and repeat to yourselves the words of the African poet Terence. I am a man, and I think that nothing that is common to humanity is foreign to me. Garvey endeared himself to his thousands of listeners when he dramatized and immortalized the heroes and heroines of Afro-American history. Through the power of his oratory, Garvey showed them that Sojourner Truth and Harriet Tubman were equally deserving of a niche in the Hall of Fame as Martha Washington and Betsy Ross. They were made to feel that the muse which inspired Phyllis Wheatley was no less fine than that of Elizabeth Barrett Browning. The black poet Paul Lawrence Dunbar was made to take his place with the great poets of the world. It was seen that the African general Hannibal surpassed Napoleon in military genius and Toussaint Louverture and Antonio Maceo were worthy of comparison with George Washington and Lord Kitchener. Marcus Garvey's spellbound audiences heard that Crispus Athos was as great as Patrick Henry and that the Ethiopian Queen of Sheba outshone Britain's Queen Victoria in the splendor of her court. Solomon, in his wisdom, towered above Gladstone. King Menelik was more than Abe Lincoln. Never before had the descendants of the slaves been so uplifted. Marcus Garvey delivered that message, and all the world wondered. Africa for the Africans, those at home and those abroad. It was the same message delivered 4,000 years before by the Jewish patriot. Let my people go. Ladies and gentlemen, at the end of his journey, we pause to assess his work and worth. We find that Marcus Garvey has left his people in America at the crossroads of history and destiny. The now 38 independent states in Africa are the first of the fruits of them that slept in the chronology of his prophecy. To quote his own words, 
Hail, United States of Africa. Hail. Also Trinidad and Tobago, Barbados, Guyana, and his own homeland, Jamaica, still on the wave of freedom. The associated states within the British Commonwealth of Nations, Grenada, Antigua, and Barbuda, Montserrat, St. Kitts, and Nevis, St. Vincent, St. Lucia, Dominica, Anguilla, and the British Virgin Islands, flying the flag of freedom and independence and echoing the voice of Marcus Garvey. Whatever his failings, Marcus Garvey brought fresh hope and courage to his people. Mankind has benefited because Marcus Garvey passed here. And who knows, but someday posterity will confirm him in the title of the Black Moses. Then millions of black men, women, and children will make the pilgrimage to his shrine in Jamaica. For they will have come to pray and kneel at the tomb of the father of African independence. Oh, he vowed to win his race, its destiny, to lift them up from ignorance and hell. With deathless courage, fashioned victory, fighting on equal fairs, what if he fell? He's gone, tis true. But history yet will tell that Marcus Messiah Garvey did his work, and he did it well. I, I, I listen last year. Eh? Mm. The powerful program there I have in the morning, yeah, man. You yeah, man. Me. Yeah, man. With us a listener, you don't know, you know. When I keep silent, mm. when come on to Rastafari vibration and justice, you know. First of yeah. all, I must congratulate all Rastas and Ballad who turn out right in front of the Ministry of Education, you know. Mm -hmm. I know that many other Rasta would have wanted to come, and many other Ballad would have wanted to come, but maybe too because eh, they have maybe certain other obligations, like the nine-to-five job, and them can't come, but uh, I see enough other Rasta drive past and Ballad, I say, I love what you're doing, we support you and blow on and whatever. See you mm -hmm. if you do we see we are in in, in in America is like the whole the whole the whole state where the demonstration are going at a point, you know? Like don't everyone come out and all job stop. When I say all job should have stopped in Jamaica and the whole country locked down but it wouldn't even be a, a way in, in which if, if that the go on, yes, mm. we would accept it same way. But yeah. uh, we, we, we 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 give thanks Three, five, the one people come out to 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 show, you know, the, the government and the Ministry of Education that Rastafari children and Rastafari life really matters, you know. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, and yeah, then, yeah, yeah. And, 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 the crowd, you know? yeah man, and and I personally give thanks for every individual, especially for Joe Mota and Aishiwawa. Yeah. And mommy too, Aishwawa, mother, and all other Rasta dear. You know why me, me, me call your name now and your daughter name? And your daughter mother name, you know, is because, you see, say, on, on the come out still, you see me, and oh, 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 on the maybe they have other obligation, but you no, know, it's that point of duty. Eh? Aishi mother organize it, you know. Yeah, Aishwawa, mother. Uh, yeah, big up, mama. I love it. Yeah. Yeah, I even help her to cup one of the, the creator water, you know, to help share to the, the ones that she says she bring in some water and make sure every Rasta get water. So I, I don't I don't know her name like right now, but she I know our Ivan. mother. She named yeah. Ivan. What is her name, Mota? She named Ivan. Yes, Ivan. Uh, you know, more strength and, 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 and all Rastafari riches. Mm -hmm. energy, you know, and empowerment to you, Miss Ivan. Yes, I. Now, I you want can. to tell everyone who is listening right now, or who is not listening, share this knowledge. Yeah, that not I, listen, not listen, can't share it. No, 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 that's why I say everyone who, who is listening yes. right now, 
to share this yes. knowledge yes. of message to who is not listening right now. So okay. that means okay. when they wake up a man, they can get Amira, the Amira, vibration. Amira, Amira. Yeah. What I want to say now, I want to tell the entire human race that Rastafari, yeah, Rastafarians, yes, I, them really care for, the, for, for, for people overall. Them care for people like black people, white people, and all other races. You know why I'm going to tell you this now, people? And when I talk to say people, I'm not deal with one race. I'm not deal with the entire human race. It is Rastafarian music that spread love, peace, equal rights, and justice. Positiveness throughout the entire human race. Check every other genre of music and you only can find that within Rastafarian music, which is whether dub poet or reggae music. Just them two genres of music they you know. Dub poet and reggae music. Every other genre of music them glorify vanity, death, destruction and sex. And when we said that no, we said that without no apology. Seeing and I know say people who have a sense of human, a sense of knowledge, will congratulate me and say, you know, say true, I world king, I saw to attack. Check it, people. It's only Rastafari and Rastafarians that defend love globally and that defend black people globally. I listened last year the first in Geneva conference. When him got there, him got there to represent black people, not only on the continent of Africa, but I listened last year the first. It's Imperial Majesty I listened last year the first. Got there to represent black people, East, West, North, South, and planet Earth. When Marcus Mosiah Garvey in Jamaica, when he leave Jamaica and go to America, and when he go to England and everywhere else in the world, he got there to not only represent black people in Jamaica or in Africa, but Marcus Mosiah Garvey got there to represent black people, East, West, North, South, and planet Earth. Now, when you tell me now, people, which other two individuals Different from Eilis Selassie I, the first, Rastafari, and Marcus Mosiah Garvey, who mm-hmm. know that defend black people in West, North, South, and planet Earth. No other one but Rastafari, Eilis Selassie I, the first, and Marcus Mosiah Garvey and him children, which is I, World King, I, Sabatut, and Muta Baruch, and all of the other great warriors, them Bob Marley, Jacob Miller, Burning Spear, Peter Tash, Bonnie Wheeler. And the list goes on. So, may I say all I want me to say, if I say this, people, the words and the words been said over and over again. And it's like, enough people get the knowledge and some people never get the knowledge. I'm going to show no evil reality that manifests right now. We see in which Rastafari been beaten, been killed, blood been shed in Jamaica the most atrocity that take place and the most wickedness that take place with Rasta worldwide is is in Jamaica because we have everything documented and we have evidence to show that so we ask the people them know must wise up because we see in which um, Rasta get certain form of freedom within Jamaica and the freedom that Rastafari get is the same politician that come and, you know, declare certain form of thing against Rasta. And you have a next set of politician that come and de- 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 declare certain things against Rasta. We say Rastafari now in, 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 in Parliament. Yeah, we say Rasta now in Parliament. Whether, whether, whether them was in power, are 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 present now. Which is the opposition? Which was eh? in the opposition? Eh? Which was eh? in the parliament? Damian Crawford. Damian Crawford. Arrested. Eh? No, 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 no. All right, all right. Let me say it on a level now. 
No, we, we, we'll have we'll have this, uh, we must stop this thing, you know. No, 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 no. You're right when you say that. Me, 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 me. You're right when you say that. Let me just yeah. clarify this now, panelist. No, mix it up. Me, him say he's not a rasta. Yeah, all right. You're right when you yeah. say that. Right. Because him, him declare that. See, so me said that, me said, me said that now. He said and this. And him also say, and him also say, black history is not relevant to Jamaica as an American thing. Black history month. Yeah. All right, so we say all of that no motor to say this on a level. We see in which the way how people, it, it, so, so we can come to a conclusion now of what we think or what we know. So we see in which we see Rasta, me, see, me personally say Rasta in the JDF army of the soldiers them. I'm mm-hmm. there in America, and I see Rasta with them dreadlocks tall and nearly I touch the ground. Ah, all right, well, 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 let me say that proper now. I see people who grow them ear in in in, 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 in them ear look like locks in Parliament. Mm-hmm. Seen, and I see people who grow them ear in the JDF um, army presently, right now, as 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 we talk. And mm. people, like the America, and me see people who grow them, de, them here look like dreadlocks, and it is dreadlocks. Mm. A police, see, yeah, I say, police, yeah. only use the word police, yeah, because see, police. I yeah, undercover, you can't know that unless you have intelligence. No, me see people who grow them here with a, 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 a liar, and, and it goes in many other different fields in Jamaica, like doctor, nurse, mm. banker, whatever, and, you know, me, 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 me give thanks any form of, you phone are gone out, yeah, me give, yeah, you phone are gone out, yeah, me give, me give thanks to any form of, who, and help Rasta movement. So, yeah, me, me not call today, me not call right now on the political vibration, but Michael Mandley, yeah, you know, me yell him on a level because me see what the work so him come do, you know, and yeah. when, me ask, when me ask say right and now, I say all of this, to say this, me say right now, legs be on, I grow them here like, like Rasta. Mm. Missy, 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 gay who, who is a male person, a gay male person, them have them, them ear growing like Rasta. So mm. that's why Tony Matarana and Fire Lynch now, maybe see a come, couple of them legs behind there and a couple of them gay man there and who, who them know maybe in a, in a, in a music and who them maybe know a sing boy like Celestia. So they maybe know about them people there and I call them Rasta. That's why I'm glad oh, you correct me a while ago, Mota, when you say, no man, them man, them. Rasta. So, 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 me I say all no, of this. No, this is. I know me I say you know, say it. I him say it. I him say it. Oh, yes, okay, okay. yes. Okay. That's, that's what I'm in love when you correct me a while yeah. ago and say I no, no, move, Saba. No. Him say it. No. Hmm? Advertisement that I have to move. All right, so we say all of this now for Yel Marcus Gia before the year to come. I'm Earth Strong, I listen to last year, and your entire human race know that it's only Rasta that give yeah. love to you know, all. See, so if you love Rasta, and as a Peter Tatsi, the Rasta is the only man that left an Irish. And Rasta Parra, I live more Tabaruka. I live, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For them job, that's a blend in and mingle. Correct information and intelligence. Well, you can wave your brother that. It's not in the truth, are they? Yeah, but that's how that go, you know? And them, them used to go in the community, them. Yeah. Just but, for a plain clothes. Yeah, but really, I care about the door. <laughs> yeah, it, it's twofold, because I proof, I'm sure you proof now, so I want to two things. Either no God, no there, or a God with the wicked and support wickedness. Because mm. uh, the only reason I can't say me, that the, me can't say nothing more than the Queen's, a piece of Queen's canary, the Queen's canary, <laughs> around that the school. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, Mr. The Queen's can hear you. know that Calypso song. Be your rich, be your daddy. <laughs> when you grab under the hat and grab the Queen's can hear you under the hat. <laughs> mm. Mm. Uh, 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 because she had about 35 year experience, tell him, say, him John Johnson, John can uh, 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 lock card license. 
I'm a one for some while. Found how she talk and what she do. Me can't bet nine thirty five years. Never teach one. He never see one rasta pick me nine school. No locks nine mm-hmm. class. Then kind of. Joe, what my shot, man? So, eh, 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 me, me can understand that case there. Because Christian. I would like to see transcript of that case. Because to me, no, you're supposed to come with proof. If you are say, you feel say, it will bring lies and say, nice. Yeah, you're yeah. supposed to have proof where you see that happened already. Show me some study where show that. Of course, she's supposed to have that. And not only that, the attorney general is a culprit. Because the attorney general defend them in a court. Uh-huh. And uh, prosecute the case. And she had a bigger culprit. Yeah, yeah, because then she has to say that that not supposed to go nowhere from before. But then you know what still? The parents too should have been them and sue them from the beginning, from, the, from your contempt. But I picked the mic got the license. Uh, 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 yeah. uh, defamation of character. Defamation of character. Kind of character. Kind of defamation of character. Uh, 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 slander kind of thing. Yes, of course. And stress. You should have sued them. Stress and all them someday. Yeah, can't tell me I want to me I two years now. I'm new. John 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 then wash them here and dry your good and chew and one tama or something in the uh, rap yeah. and then get fungus we grow, yes? Yeah, but I know John Joe that. But uh, I, I eat my car, John Joe. Look here, I can see my ear, I can see a pure John Joe me up on my head. A bright and bright. I can see my ear, I can see a pure John Joe me up on my head. <laughs> that means I'm the dad, so look on that turban. If you roll off that turban, up a fatty leg supposed to drop Oh, gosh, man. Fatty leg. <laughs> but I get them, but I get them, um, when they're Prince Mark. Prince Mark, man. Yeah, Josh Nooks, Josh Nooks. Josh Nooks, man, but I Prince Mark, man, when you're doing it. Yeah, 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 watch out. They take out my time and see it jump out from the rat. Snake. <laughs> <laughs> the one that hey. in the 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 Call it the 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 bishop them at that time Jesus become official a uh, uh, God and all them something there. Oh, create them create it, man. Well, when oh, time when time Christianity when he make Christianity the the the, the state religion and yes. burn all that one. Yes. Cabo yet it was a couple a whole part them religion in their own and yes. and, and the Christianity ISIS, one. Ne, ne the ISIS religion. Remember the ISIS religion. That was huh? a dominant religion amongst the women them in our room, you know. The ISIS religion. ISIS? Yeah, ISIS. You know ISIS? Mm-hmm. That the Egyptian ISIS, Horus, and Osiris. Yeah, I was that 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 in, in, that in, 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 yeah, in, in, in a Egypt. In a room. In, in, in a room. In a room, then they have it too. Yeah, man, they will have mm. much of ISIS transcend all of these big Greek Roman Empire, Egyptian yeah. Empire, you know. But, the, 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 but the 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 the, the, Judaic, the Judaism thing that all it do are incorporate pieces from all of the ah, religion then. Then, every religion then touch to every to peoples and culture then touch then take one little piece take one little piece, piece take one little piece, piece. piece and then and then when Rome take you over now and, and give it to the Gentiles mm-hmm. find them find us the poor people they are both you know we can't yeah, rule them mind and Paul did not work for them Paul worked and, for them hard uh, uh, alright you know that Paul do Jesus and the priest to the Jew, then Paul will preach to the Gentiles. Yeah, and tell them all that thing, and then you are and, read it in a table. And, and control them. Room, you see, and then use everything. Why when pagan turn, when they accept it, and no pagan no more. And you know, you're the prime minister. I show card pagan. You know, you're the prime minister, read the Roman letter, let to, to Jamaican people. The Roman letter? The, the letter, Paul to the Romans. Oh, 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 oh. Well, I said the people, they must um, be yes. obedient to the master and to them. 
Because he said, if I read the Roman, let Paul write that letter to the Romans, you know. And black people are reading to black people. A joke business. But holy man, some of them are them too. Some of them are too specific people to Titus and to but that uh, to, to Titus man to the I to the man I write in one person I come like me write to my, my pen pal Africa I got to get I read it I read it I read it you're fast you should have burned at the stake you're fast and other people have letter uh, you know uh, that is what Christianity is based on fast and other people letter because room Paul is the most Pronounced person of Christianity is in set the stage for Christianity. Paul. Mm. Yeah, he set the stage for Christianity. Uh, Christianity right. is not based on Paul for the teachings of Jesus, it's the teachings of Paul. Of course. Yeah, it's Paul's teachings. There's more uh, books than that. They must be very articulate. Yes. yes. You have not the whole of Roman yes. Empire. And to, yeah, to, to Rome did set up a name in, 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 in communication network. Very well, yes, like he yeah. used, and it travel out to the same to about 10,000 10, miles. I thought the year, yeah, man, yeah, man. Travel travel feet back in them days, just like yeah. when you talk about Marcus and the 20 million. You imagine if you might have WhatsApp and so yeah, right, yeah, right, man. Man. Instagram. I will say, man, I'll think that sometime. Sure, man, yeah, I'll be just zoom. Three hours, there, 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 five hours, there's a man playing, and then uh, we had so that travel a month, month, past week, past ship. Yeah, man. My look what Rasta do. And I come like a pinky on the brain that take over the world. Yeah, look what Rasta do with the music. Just a little music. Look what Rasta do with it. Make it music. In a room. But <laughs> music so the soul are the same. Yeah. You just have to find one where it resonates with everybody and I hit forget. I so tell me something now. Your farm. Eh? Eh? I'm not here. Where is it? Your farm, your farm, farm. If me a farm? Yeah. No, you don't look big. We are just only because something just to eat. Wait a little, they're not just eating at that, but the way you have mm-hmm. to farm and just eat. Oh, yeah, I don't know, big, big nothing. Just, just no, where are you? Where are you? Tell me where you are. Come if you ask people to know where they are. Where you are? Where are you at on the pumpkin? Some bell pepper, bell pepper, scotch bunny. I just feel some pumpkin and I do it like most of the time. Back to off my one and even that, them just have to push out blossom and thing. Back to off. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going Eh? I suck a melo, that's why I may ask you. Oh. You know, I suck a melo. Yeah, man, I suck a melo, man. Banana plant? No, I don't want to plant banana. Hey, you're, oh. you're grossy. Oh, pumpkin. You're grossy. Gross, Mitchell? Yeah. No, but you probably can't find still. But I have some plants, so I have to collect for a bread and a PM for a minute. No, I plant some plants like that day, but I want some gross, you know. Oh. Well, I don't know. Cucumber and everything I put in. That's all I'm interested in, I know, when a man talk to me, you know. Where you plant? Give me some of what you have, and me give some of what you have. Oh. That man work with, you know. Farming. Yes. I like it. Most of you know what country we live, so. I yeah, we'll have to do that little bit, little bit, uh, yeah. that really big. Uh, we have to move, though. We have to move. Yes, man. All right, yeah, man. Good times. Yes. Yeah. Good times. Hey, one thing, though. Tell me something quick. Yeah. Come, uh, uh, Indian, she are Indian or uh, Native American? Indian. No, no, not Native. Uh, India, India, India. Right, uh, India. Oh, okay. Come India. Here, so look up here. India. And them say Jamaica. Yeah. The father. Yeah, but she more, she more say she's American. Mm-hmm. She's not American. Yeah, man. She's not Indian right. American, not Black American. She's an American. Yeah. Yes. You saw them can't pacify Black people. <laughs> yeah, see, no, she's, she's like a queen, all, you know. All the time, what's she do? She's a queen. Because uh-huh. they realize what we're going on, you know, them say, all right, you know what we're going to do? Give them a Black person and make them cool and easy. And that is what she's going to do now. She's going to make them cool and easy. Yeah. 
take into account 1,000 years ago, 500 years ago, just name it, our, our parents could have really used the spiritual power then learn to nature to make a person see himself or herself here when you're born. How you grow up. When the white people come along, they call it voodoo, they call it hobby and necromancy, all sorts of things. But now when you look and see the Chinese, you have to use it, a different type of technology to make you see yourself and a cell phone. The same thing was our parents practiced for over thousands of years. The only means of these technologies just reach for them. So what, what, what I really just said, we need to get a grip of ourselves and know that if these people, Judaism, Christians, they are Islam, when know that their religion was of any power or any good to help us overcome them. These people ain't going to give away their religion. Well, I'm saying, what I'm saying, I'm saying. My religion in a, in a sense, kit, Raph Kalonji, educate me upon this by saying, if even we have streets of gold and pearly gates, the white people then who give us the Bible as a compass to find that. <clears throat> and we need to know that this God idea come out of people who only know how to explain certain things. <clears throat> because when the Bible goes tell a man say, a God paint the rainbow in the sky. And now me can tell a one say, so get some with a sprinkler and go up on top of a building or anything. I can't create your own rainbow. You don't have to go up on top of a building. Just turn it, 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 and put it on some flowers and some grass. You believe that God can go on that within seven days and paint that grass so when you take up the seed that you see it in the lovely color where it's supposed to be. Mm. When these people couldn't explain away certain things, even the lightning, what cast lightning in the sky? What cast thunder? When these people couldn't explain yeah, and find something to say, some supernatural thing. Go on again? No, when they couldn't explain it, they bring up some food to natural take it. You understand? If, if anything they cannot explain a mystery, they give it to a supernatural powers. You understand? The, yeah. the, the, the Egyptians, one of the doctrines of the, uh, the Egyptians was that Ra, the sun in the sky is Ra, the yeah. sky in the sky in the golden boat. The Greek, from the copy, you know, said, it is his boat in his golden chariot <clears throat> riding across the sky. And, and rightly so, like what I said, this, and, and you may hear this, this is how I may say to people long years. Nobody know how you about Zeus and in God. Zeus. I know Zeus, people say the son of Jesus. Anyway, anyway, anyway the Greek, go nation, trim before Zeus. Women want to get pregnant, then pray to, to Zeus. Zeus goddess, from, uh, from Egypt, um, Greek goddess. And when they want to go to the water, they want to go to the water. They want to go to the water. When they love them, they want to go to the water. again? When them want to, when them go on the water, them talk about Neptune. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. You know, them talk about Apollo. So what they right now, glad for that thing where they go on. It kind of set back. Well, black people in general, to give them some time to, re- to wake up and realize, so look here, life in a great house called America and England. And life on the plantation because remember now you know you have, you have, you have the, the old slave and the sea slave them you know you have some people in mm-hmm. America and England and claim to the United Great House and them are live big mm-hmm. and they forget that them life with the white man out you know that they feel it will not be the same and now they they they're glad to become American citizens and all these and now they the shape of the way I'm up here, you know, you are not, you are not welcome here. You understand? Know, you're supposed to know yourself and find yourself. In a long time, it, it was Ben Yokanan who makes one like me really began to go back and listen to somebody named Marcus Gavi. He came in, Marcus Gavi to me, and you know, Marcus Gavi went for the 50 cents, and that's it for me. And I, 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 that's how we grow. No, I'm doing the 50 cents, I get up into bed. 
Go on again. No, I'm gone. I think you've gone for 20 now. You understand? That's why, that's why I feel even away. I'm not telling you a lie. I feel even away to even name Marcus Gia Valencia you again from, from, from thief and murder and in a Jamaica. But then put up, you say, his national era. And, and a, a very few Jamaicans know that. The brother was then sit on the two Jamaican two dollars who called Paul Bogle. That is not Paul Bogle. That is Thomas Jennings. And if you go, anybody go up on the internet and type in Thomas Jennings, the first black man who made the steam press iron, they will see that picture come up with Paul Bogle. And and multitude of people don't know that. You yeah, will that tell them that for two years ago. Go on again. Well, it talked about that years ago, and then we get the answer, say, it's the other way around. But it is only a pity, and, and there's something about your program and you, which there's only a pity. The, the, your program can start come on earlier to catch more listeners, because, tell you the truth, you know, people are listening, you know, but it, to me, it not really move as fast as me wish it could have moved toward people. You know what I wish, you know? Because <laughs> I know it's yeah. rich. Because yeah. I know it's yeah. People say we should have shipped that thing. If it never reach from the house still. And it, 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 more than love it, if them could have give you, if I even wanted a one hour earlier, even if it done the same time when it done the night, you understand? Mm. Because we need them things here. And you have the Empress there from, from Iria from the morning time. She has yeah. a powerful work. I must have a very yeah. powerful work. May I tell you? Because me hear the professor out of uh, yeah. Bella, Professor Bella, the yeah. Pana program. And she really has to eat from Kabu and the and the and the good work as an emperor. Yes. So what she did do. I may tell you say, me did read Arikana, Dr. Arikana out of Zimbabwe. And I live there, but my tell you this week, my feel so cut up, you know what I say. So that's a go on. That, that come out of her. Not even that's a go on, that, that come out of her. And then tonight, when I come here, you, you touch the topic about what, 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 what Emperor Marcus said about the educated in the society. Oh, the intellectual. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, anyhow, I'm not going to take up too much of the time. And that yeah. me I say, we, we, we wish them could have done something. That's one I think. We wish them could have done something about your program. Yeah. You understand? Because for the past couple of weeks, you know, me ask my empress, uh, this is the last thing I want. They say, look here, when Mota start, wake me up. Because me always try to get some sleep to listen. And mm. you know, so I wake up. So they yes, I just start. Listen, 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 listen. So I just say, what are you going? What do you think she did do? She did listen to the toad and the cricket and for Mota program. yeah, yeah, because I me, me got that because she just said, like, just can't do it, you can't do it, you can't do it, you can't do it, so after you said, we started there, we thought, you know, it's all lovely, you know, see, it's sweet, yeah. Yeah, you know, that got that funny, funny. that got funny, yeah, man, uh, I appreciate it, I'm going to go here, so, bless up the program and love the program, and I don't know, I don't know if you take the listeners, say, say, get us on the right thing or apply, but, you know, Believe me. So you don't listen to Stepping Razor? You don't listen to Stepping Razor? Yeah, man, listen to Stepping Razor, but I want to tell you something. It's too political, player. I'm um, Stepping Edge now. I'm um, yeah. subscribed to to your juvenile who put it on, on, on YouTube. So tomorrow, uh, they would have sent me the link to tonight's program. Because we have a surprise for you, silly, you know. Just tune in and you have a big surprise. Yeah, okay. And Mota, let me ask you one, one little question. Uh, there's a brother, me hear a piece on a radio station, a brother called Ja Israel. In a tune called No Chatting. Is there by any way the can play the program that sang there before? You come over here tonight. Ja Israel, what? Ja Israel. A song called No Chatting. 
Uh, yeah, no. no chatting. No chatting. Chatting. No chatting. Spell, spell, spell chatting. C H A T C H A T T I N G. Oh, you mean when we have to listen to the sound system and the radar talk? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I'm all true. All right. Let me see if you can find it. I thought the Empress loved that. I love that. I love it. 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 I